In Australia, a country with stringent gun laws, Sydney is reacting with horror to another stabbing attack, this one at a church where a live streamed service was underway. Today's incident follows a deadly knife attack in a mall Saturday that left six people dead. The attacker in that incident was also killed. Let's get more now on both of these stories. I'm joined by reporter Adam Hancock in Sydney. Adam, let's begin with this latest attack at a church. What can you tell us about this stabbing incident? Yes, another alarming incident this evening in Sydney. Uh, this attack took place in the west of the city in a suburb called Wakeley, around about 30 kilometres from the centre of Sydney. Police were called to the Christ the Good Shepherd Church at around 7.15pm, where they found uh, four victims of a stabbing attack. All of the victims were males, including the bishop who was hosting the service at the time. Um, none of the injuries, we believe, are life-threatening at the stage, and two of the victims have been taken to hospital. Now, it appears that uh, a man who has been arrested, it's caused quite a scene at this church. Large crowds gathered outside. There's some reports that there was even a riot with some buildings and police vehicles being attacked. As people tried to stop the suspect from leaving the church, the police eventually managed to get the suspect away to an undisclosed location. We have little information at the moment about any potential motive for this attack. Uh, this church um, serves Sydney's relatively small Christian Assyrian community, many of them who have arrived in Australia from Syria or Iraq. But at this stage, we don't really know much. It was a live stream of this service was on the internet at the time of this attack. And it's very distressing footage where you can see the bishop actually being attacked and then hear the audience gasping in shock and screaming before they head to the front to try and help the priest before the live stream cuts out. So yet another attack in Sydney this evening causing much distress in the city. And Adam, of course, this is, uh, it happens quite rarely in Australia, which has such stringent uh, gun laws. These two attacks, two recent attacks, both involved knives. Let's talk about that other attack this weekend at a mall where most of the victims were women. What are you hearing from investigators and what are we hearing from the attacker's family? Yes, we've had an update from the police today where they said it does appear that the attacker, a 40-year-old man called Joel Couchy from Queensland, was indeed targeting women. There had been some speculation about this, given the fact that there were six uh, people who were killed in this attack. Five of them were women. But today, the New South Wales Police Commissioner, in an interview with local media here, said it was quite obvious that he was targeting women based on the footage that they have been reviewing as part of their investigation. We've also heard today from Mr. Couchy's parents. We had a statement from the family yesterday, but they spoke on camera today. They again ex expressed their sincere apologies about what their son had done. They discussed the mental health issues that he'd been facing, the fact that he had recently come off medication. And they also went into some detail about his frustration and his inability to get a girlfriend due to his lack of social skills. So they were very emotional interviews. Obviously, this is a distressing time for his family as well. We also heard the identity of the sixth victim today. It was a Chinese student who is studying in Sydney, and the tributes to those killed in this attack, well, they continue to build. There's lots of flowers being left and lots of tributes just opposite the shopping centre, which remains closed tonight. Adam, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Reporter Adam Hancock in Sydney.